Can we agree on that? <laughs> I kind of did this cool thing on the bottom with quick fuse. What's going on guys, it's Cody B Pyrotechnics and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at some Raccoon Fireworks Pro-Line items. Now these fireworks in particular, unlike consumer, you do need a license to purchase. However, this license is a lot easier to get than a typical ATF license, which you need for 1.3 professional grade fireworks. Now this license, typically you can get it at PGI or Skywars. A lot of these larger pyro events, maybe even the Western Pyrotechnics Guild or something like that. But you get that license and you can really increase the quality of your fireworks show because those cakes over there on the far left, uh, those ones are technically 500 gram cakes. However, because they are 1.4 Pro, they are loaded to the absolute max and they perform way better and go much higher than a regular 500 gram cake. So I wanna get you guys a quick walkthrough of everything we're gonna be shooting off tonight. Starting with this one, this is actually Q1. And so you hook the fuse up up here. I didn't know that these had a hook on it, so I used tape on the first one. But on the second one, as you can see, they got a nice hook there right at the igniter. So you just loop that under and you don't even have to tape them. So this one here is called Blue Tail to Spider and Red Strobe. That is our first hit on the Cobra tonight. Our second hit is going to be this Red Coconut Tail to Silver Plum and Red Dahlia. Now we did not actually script any of this stuff. We're gonna be pushing buttons. So I'm gonna hit three and four at the same time because three and four consecutively are this butterfly of red strobe spider and blue. I don't know if this thing is gonna look like a butterfly when it goes off, but I am super excited to see this because as you can see, the cakes are positioned like that. And I can't imagine they would want you to shoot them like this. So we're gonna shoot them like that on the ground both hits at the exact same time and I cannot wait to see what this does. Like I'll get out of the way so you can see both of them in action. And yeah, that's gonna have a hell of a spread on it. Should be really cool. So that is Q3 and four. And Q5 and six are actually both fan slices. So this is gonna be Q5. It is a green glitter mine with gold flower wave to green strobe. And this one here actually went in the side, but this one is a little bit different. So this next one here is gonna be Q6, and this is Titanium Crackling Tail with Chrysanthemum Mine. This one starts in the middle and goes to both sides, so this should be a really cool fan slice. Now we have a bunch of these single shot comet effects, which I kinda of did this cool thing on the bottom with quick fuse to try to get them all to go at the same time, and you cut down on your igniter usage there. So this first comet here, this is gonna be Q number 13, cause I went on the bottom, like if we show the module here, you can see I did 13 and 14 for this rack, and then 15 and 16 for this rack over here. So 13 is going to be purple star with green strobe. And then Q14 is gonna be purple stars with dragon eggs. And if I didn't mention this before, these are actually the 30 millimeter comets. Um, so this one here is gonna be Q15, and it is a Thai chrysanthemum tail with white strobe. And last but not least here, we got Q16. This is another 30 millimeter comet. Actually, all four of these segments are 30 millimeter. This one here is red tip white strobe with tail and blue mine. All right, as you can see, we got continuity all the way. Everything that we had hooked up to the Cobra over there is green lit on the remote. Let's go ahead and start with Q1. We waste no time. Here goes Q2. Oh no, what was that?
All right, so unfortunately we were using the three meter wires and it looks like it hit one of those fan slices. Um, sorry about that, but we're gonna keep going. Here goes three and four at the same time. This is the butterfly. Whoa! Oh my God. <laughs> okay, that was something, dude. Oh yeah. Q5 should be a fan slice. Oh, look at that. You need that one. I need that. <laughs> For sure. And here goes Q6, another slice. Oh my God. I love this. Q13 coming right up. Wow. Those racks worked out really well. I agree. Here goes Q14. One of these actually went off prematurely. I don't know which one, but that was gorgeous. All right, here goes Q15. That's the one that went prematurely. So as you guys can see, Q15 is the one that lit prematurely because we used fast fuse on the bottom and something must have clipped it off that second cake we lit in the beginning. Now let's see Q16. Very nice. Oh yeah. All right, guys, well, I really hope you enjoyed the Proline stuff. I was certainly impressed with it, and I think the fan favorite of the night, um, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but was the butterfly. Most definitely. Can we agree on that? <laughs> I think the butterfly one <laughs> stole the show for the night. Um, again, it's a shame that we had a fuse jump off of this cake into the Comet Rack, but oh well, it still looked really cool, and we had a lot of fun, and we will see you guys next time.